Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. So I am back at Dollar General. So last time I filmed here, if you guys missed that video, I will link it up here or down below. You guys seem to really enjoy it and I loved it too. I had a lot of fun shopping here. I don't come here often because it is far from where I live, but I really love this location and last time I came, I was very impressed by the selection. So I want to take you guys with me again because it's been a couple months now. Hopefully there's like a stock refund fresh my favorite section by far was the home decor it was so gorgeous and they really had such a cute selection super cute farmhouse style so I'm hoping that we score again at this time and I can find some really cute new home items for you guys we're gonna check out the beauty section I love believe beauty it's like one of my favorite brands and everything is like under five dollars so if you are excited about this dollar general shop with me video then give this video a big thumbs up it helps out my channel so much go follow my second channel discount dolly that will be linked down below and let's just get on into it and see what we can find at dollar general today first thing i found is this adorable ceramic pepper jar which is a complete do for the hearth and hand joanna Gaines one at target that one's six dollars this one's two dollars so a pretty decent savings and it is so cute such nice quality one of my followers also told me there is a salt one but my store did not have that one they had some cute little table runners i just thought i would show you guys in case you're interested if you have a dining room table i hope to one day have a dining room table they also have this adorable kitchen sink strainer with a little B on it. Some candle holders. This was a $8 one. They also had taller ones that were $10. I just really liked these little milkshake straws. I thought they would be good for smoothies. Okay, this line was so cute. This like matte black. Again, total hearth and hand dupes. This little jar was $4. And then this cream jar, I love this black. I feel like it is super unique. You don't see a lot of stuff with this color. And this was $3. And they also had this little sugar jar, which was also $3. Absolutely love those. I think I showed this last time, but they still had these little cream jars and then this milk one as well. Definitely a farmhouse vibe. And both of those were $3. Really cute and like vintagey looking. This is a new vinegar jar that they had. I think this is super cute. I loved the writing. This was only $3, so a great price. And the little cork top was super unique and cute. I wish I had an oil one too. This is a new utensil jar. Amazing value again, $5. Stuff like this usually goes for $15 and up. I loved the, the details. They also had this really cute bee jar, which I showed in my last video. And these are new, these little confetti jars. I actually did receive these in PR from this brand, Home Basics, which was so cool. And they have a taller one as well. So I really like those, they're fun. This is a bee spoon rest for $5. So if you like bee things, head over to Dollar General. This is a prep bowl set, it is eight pieces. So I thought that was pretty cool. This butter container is like ceramic and I thought this was super cute with the little lemons on it. And they also had this matching like plate rest for only $3. I love these, they were like little egg cartons and they were also ceramic. These were $3 so they had blue. And then they had this Ray Dunn dupe. It said cold drinks. It kind of reminded me of like those old school milk cartons that they would like leave at your front door. So that was $12. And then they had this super cute bread dish for $8. This brand is called Orly Mason. I love the print on this. Again, it just reminded me of something you would find in like a home from the 70s. Vintage vibes. They also had the matching pie plate for $5. And then they also had that little egg crate in white as well. I think this would be so cute in a kitchen, especially if you had like a chicken who had fresh eggs. Oh, love it. They had so many cute mugs. This one was $3. It was actually a nice big size. They also had it in blue. This is their whole like summer collection. It was called like Outdoor Adventure, I think. Um, this one was really cute. I love the little details. That one was $3. This one said Adventure Awaits, so this is like a cute little camping mug collection. Another little camping mug, that one was only $1. And then this go goes with the other mug I showed you guys with the little crosses on it. Here is that same mug I showed previously except in blue. 
And then a couple more of those $1 summer camping mugs. And that one said wild side. And then this was just a different pattern that they had. Some little romkins. These are really fun. This was only $1. A couple different springy colors. This flatware caddy set was only $12. I loved these cups. This was $7. The prints were really fun and like retro. This bowl was only a dollar and then some matching like salad plates as well. This is a tier shelf to maximize space in your cabinets from Farberware, which is actually a name brand. They had these really fun tin jars with a wood cap. These were $6. So they had a white one as well as a galvanized tin one. I loved these boho planters. These were $4 and I think these were just super unique. I had never seen anything like them before. I loved the prints. Some more bowls. These were a dollar. And this little white bowl was also a dollar. That would be cute for like dips. I loved this cup. It was like this retro rainbow cup. It just reminded me again of something from the 70s. This was $7. Like how cute is that? They had a bunch of really cute insulated tumblers for $8. This one was like some flower prints. And then this one I loved. It had little tigers and palm leaves. These were eight bucks. Moving on to the baskets. I was so impressed by their selection. So they had really great pricing as well. So this one I loved. This was $14. Loved the open concept. And then this one was one of my favorites. I loved the different kind of like weaving and then the rope because it wasn't extremely farmhouse, but it had like a boho flair to it. So they had three different sizes. That one was $8, the smaller one. And then I will show you guys all three sizes. So they had small, medium for 10, and then a large for 12. So, so cute. And I did need a new basket. I didn't end up picking it up, but I loved it. These were really fun too. They were like rope woven and then the top part was like a leather kind of material, not like real leather, but these were $8 for the smaller ones. And then I thought these were really cool. I had never seen something like that before with the wood combo and the fabric. I just thought it was really neat. Loved these little guys with the handles. Super cute for storage, especially like on your kitchen shelves or like above your kitchen cabinets. And then they had this really cool like black basket with little different like leather patterns, I guess. And they also had it in brown as well. And then the smaller brown one was $10. And then this was a smaller version of that basket in black. And then just some like larger, more like tote style baskets. And those were $8. I told you guys, the basket section was fire. Like they had so many options. This one was leather straps. I loved that too. Then we had some more like wicker options with the leather handles. I thought that was super cute. I like the different patterns. I feel like it just adds something special to it. So yeah, Dollar General, come on now. This one was super cute with the wicker. It just adds something modern to it instead of just like a regular wicker basket. And then this is the same one except a deeper tone color of wicker. These were really fun. They were like these open candle lanterns for $10. You could put like a nice big pillar candle in there. This said supplies, <laughs> really fun. This one I think was, yeah, $8. I liked the mint kind of color. A couple cute signs they had. I liked the little heart birdhouse. This one said home. I love this place. <laughs> and what else did we find here? Oh, these were cute, these little tin galvanized letters. And then it was fun because it had the wooden like little beads some unique candle holders with like mixed media of the wood and then kind of that like splattery look this is a fun little whiteboard and i loved again the wood bead details to hang it up this was so cute and fun it was only five dollars this open and close sign and the open and close was like a leather type of material okay i never find anything good in the dollar general clothing section i did like these tie-dye pants but they were 3x which is nice because they did have plus sizes but um, yeah, I never really find anything there except like weird jegging pants. They had these new razors. I guess this was kind of supposed to be like their version of like a, um, I don't know, 
their version of like a brazier. So they have this brand Shavely's and Sierra. Some LA Colors fake nails. Um, I don't wear fake nails, but I always appreciate the designs of them because I think they're really pretty. So they had a couple cool patterns. I loved the like little pearly duochrome vibe. Some gel polish nail covers. I have, I have something like that and I love them. And Dollar General actually has their own brand of brushes, which I thought was really neat. They looked really nice. We had a little eye duo set, this little eye smudge brush, and a face brush. These were $3. Moving over to my favorite, Believe Beauty. They had some new mascaras. This is their volum Volumize. And I looked up reviews when I was at the store, and this had really good reviews. So I definitely wanted to try this out. I love so much of what I've tried from their brand. And then this is their other new mascara, Extended Lash Length. It has like one of those skinny brushes, which I personally really like. And this was also $4.50. It had great reviews. They had these really cute little duos of blushes and highlighters, which I thought was so pretty. The quality on that brand is amazing. Okay, so Dollar General has a new hair care brand called Root to End. They actually sent these to me in PR, so I've been using them. And spoiler alert, I love this brand. It is so, so good, you guys. There's no sulfates parabens or mineral oils so they have this like rejuvenating line I have the shampoo and the conditioner and the ingredients are just like really simple really good um, they have a purple shampoo which I got gifted to me but I don't have blonde anymore so I gave it to my family member they have a two-in-one which would be great for my husband the scalp scrub I actually do also have I have to try that one and they do also have a dry shampoo here which I'll show you guys um, the curl defining cream here is the dry shampoo I've been using this one as well. Definitely has a stronger scent, but I do like it. And the hairspray, which they also sent to me. So check it out, you guys. It's so good, this line. And at the last second, I found this adorable, like, chic cutting board with little gold detail. Absolutely loved that. And that was $6. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed shopping with me today at Dollar General. I feel like their home section is always so cute and insanely affordable. Like, I think my favorite finds were the little pepper canister that was an exact dupe for the hearth and hand one at Target from Chip and Joanna Gaines, the little cream and sugar, the black matte so cute i loved everything in the home section that's definitely like my favorite part of going to dollar general everything else like i don't really shop for too much stuff there like i don't know i definitely love dollar tree more for like other stuff and i just feel like more love for dollar tree but i love the home area at dollar general it's just really cute and trendy so let me know what you guys thought are you a fan of dollar general do you have one in your area let me know thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content fun videos like this shopping affordable beauty see you guys in my next one bye